All right, so you want to make your solar lights last. What kills solar lights is water, which causes corrosion. So, so with this one, I'm taking the screws out because I want to see it. The absolute worst thing they can do with solar lights is put a switch on there. These are your main fail point because these corrode no matter what, and then the switch stops working. Stop switch stops working, your stuff isn't on anymore. There should be no switches. So all my old lights originally, while this board is screwed on, I I just go through and, and solder solder the wires, solder those together, you know, attach them to complete the circuit and the switch. I'm not gonna do that here. But you want to stop water from getting in this vice. So this looks pretty sealed. On a lot of solar panels, you have to go and, and take a, a gun and seal around the solar. This looks totally sealed. This looks good. It's also scooped, so it holds the water there. What is that beep noise, dude? The issue with this is this. These are gaping holes right there where the string is coming through. So what I do on these, is you come here. And you, and yes, I'm doing it on the inside for a reason. You do that, and then you pull the string through like that. And you'll notice that it pulled the glue stick through. So that's going to seal the hole on both sides. Same thing this, this one. And just pull the string. And that'll seal that hole. And you're also getting hot glue up the string because water's gonna travel down that string because it's a string, you know? So I don't, I don't know how good that's gonna go, but this good thing is almost gone, so then. I guess we could I can always completely seal the string. You know. <clears throat> so water won't, won't travel down it. You know, seal it in hot glue. Like that. Totally encase it so water can't travel down it. First, we have it everywhere. I'm just rushing it because it's a video. The other thing you don't want. If water does get in, you want to protect it here. So most solar lights come with plastic wrap to redirect the water to the outside area. To see, the water will drain through these cracks and out those slits. So you could do stuff like this. So the water condensation will get in here, but it's not going to be as bad. So you can do stuff like this, and you can also, I'm just doing this on the video quick. You can figure it out yourself. You want it the, the water to not go to that circuit board. You want it to go down the edges and fall out. And you can also cover the battery. So that's it. You want to stop water from getting in here, and, and this will last almost forever. You could seal up the circuit board with all that, but I don't, I'm not going that far. Like, I have solar lights that are over 10 years old, or around 10 years old. Some of them are built really good where they redirect the water away from the circuit board. So you get your minor corrosion from um, condensation, but not direct water. Um, but they did have switches, and all their switches just rust. From condensation, the switch will rust out because it's two pieces of metal touching each other 
they're not soldered, so they corrode, corrode, and then they don't touch anymore, and the switch just breaks apart. So I had to go through and, and, and bypass the switches. <clears throat> so there you go.